What's up guys, Ivan Carranza here and welcome to Bass, 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 bass Tone bass, Tuesday. Bass, Tuesday. Bass, Tuesday. Bass. Today I'm gonna show you the recordings of one of the tracks of Ash Makers and in case you haven't followed us yet or checked out our music, I'm gonna put a link in the description below because our first single Chasing Horizons was recently released. Now here in this video I'm gonna show you which bass I'm gonna use which pedals, my signal chain, I'm gonna show you what's in my DAW and how I, you know, picked the sounds that I ended up using for the final track. So let's check that out. From the bass, we go then into the Noble DI, which is gonna be my clean DI. And this is set flat, there's nothing happening here. And then I'm taking from here a an XLR out to my interface. But then I'm splitting the signal as well, I'm taking that and going into the Take 21 YYZ, which is then going into my Mesa amp, and I'm taking the DI out from here and going into my Universal Audio Apollo Twin X interface. And then I have two channel strips to record. And for both signals, I'm using an API style channel strip which is from UAD from Universal Audio. Usually I use a I mean most of the time I use the Neef one because it sounds really thick and punchy, has a really great low end. But because this truck is a bit more aggressive, the API has a bit more of a you know aggressive character. It cuts through very well, which is why I'm using it for both signals. Now, the strings on this bass are actually somewhat fresh, like mainly these three, so <laughs> the G, D, and A, they sound pretty good, but the E string is kind of dead and I need them all to be fresh, so I'm gonna put a fresh set of strings to record. Um, these are, or these bass are strung with the Adarios and regular nickel EXL, 45 to 100, so I'm gonna change strings and then start recording. Now here it's my Logic project and I've got the Noble first, then the YYZ as a second channel and I have the recording button trigger because I'm going to be recording both at the same time. The next track is my drum mix which is a, a pre-bound of the whole kit. Right? Then I have the vocals as well, which I cannot show you, <laughs> but I have them uh, there as a guide and to to know when to change my energy levels as well. So because with the singer in the chorus, for example, if he really you know steps up the energy, I can go with him. And then I've got the guitars, although this is gonna be mostly either very very quiet in the mix while I record or completely off because I'm gonna be focusing mainly on the drums so that the bass and the drums sound the best. And that's what I use to record. Now, for the sounds, uh, you can see this on the YYZ. I've got the mix pretty much at 12 o'clock. It's a tiny, tiny bit to the deep side. I've got the lows boosted all the way because I have the tight switch engaged and I've got I have the drive kind of like at two-ish, one thirty o'clock, and I'm boosting some some high end. Okay, so now I've put the fresh strings on the bass. It's sounding way better now, and I'm gonna record. You won't be hearing what I'm be playing uh, because I'm gonna be only monitoring through headphones. But I'm gonna show you, like I mentioned later, one little section, and I'm gonna reamp or use plugins so you can hear what the result. Is, but you're gonna see me play a little bit here so let's uh, start recording so I just finished recording and here this is my DI track which is clean they have the parallax which is a uh, the, the same signal but using a plugin by neural DSP it has plenty of drive then I have an Ampeg SVT VR set close to breakup. 
and then it really distorted Ambic. sound is going to be the Ampeg crunch so the one right before breakup together with the one that's really overdriven and the parallax and the YYZ are there just in case the mixing engineer wants to use them so for example if one section he wants to make the bass more aggressive he might use the parallax because that's really overdriven really nasty but I'm really happy with the sounds, I'm really happy with the performance that I did, the recording and I can't wait to show you guys the material because it's really really cool, the songs are sounding killer and I'm really happy with how the whole process is going so far so unfortunately I cannot show you the song <laughs> or more of the song because you know we haven't released it yet but once all the stuff comes out I'm gonna be able to do more content about these songs, the writing, the whole uh, baseline process, you know, my approach to, to the baseline, how I record it more specifically, and all those things. But right now, I can't show you more, so you're gonna have to wait. But I hope you liked the video. Let me know what you think in the comments, and also don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the content that's coming to the channel. As always, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll catch you guys. On the next one. Take care. Mm -hmm.